finished power washing. Got to clean it with soap and water. And uh, this thing cleaned up. Power washed okay. Enough talking. Let's get back to it. Alright guys, I've already cleaned the front end and uh, I've already color sanded and buffed out one side. As you can see, you can see the reflection of me in the phone, holding the phone. So, there's a lot of rust so it's not going to be perfect. I didn't expect it to be. Uh, kind of polished the top of this fender here. What do you guys think? I think it looks okay. It'll work for now. Something different. Yeah, like I mentioned in previous video, or a few videos back, this side has a lot of rust, so uh, really not much I can do about it. This side, especially back here, has a lot more paint, so hopefully this side will polish up better. But, uh, so far it's turning out okay. Still gotta do this side, but you kind of get the idea of the difference. Kind of shiny versus, uh, dull. I guess the real effect will be once it's in the truck next to the engine and the frame and everything's all attached to it, what would it really look like, so... But, uh, yeah, once I get this thing done, and I'm going to start working on the seals, getting the, uh, placing all the, the back seals over here. And there's one I already pulled off here, or it actually fell off. Yeah, I got to replace all these. And after I get done, I'll, I'll show you what I'm going to do for the, uh, staples that hold the seals on. Uh. change all these seals I got everything I think I need so apparently there was one down here I didn't even know it and I have it too so yep all right guys I'm gonna get back at it all right I wanted to show y'all how I'm doing the staples as you can tell I got this back seal for the fender it's already installed. I did actually add a couple of extra staples like this one. No way this thing doesn't flap as much. Uh, I may add one here. I don't know yet. It's the back side of... Kind of hard to mimic the actual staple. There you go. Yeah, you get the idea. I'm working on this one right, this part right here right now. I'm trying to work that in. It goes right there. And I got that seal to do. I've already done this one. Turned out pretty nice. Interesting why they double stapled the top end. Same thing on the passenger side as well. Sorry to sun kind of makes it cloudy looking right now but yeah these are my uh these are my staples right here i guess you could use pretty much anything but 18 gauge is a snug fitting the uh factory hole where the staple went i've been using a 1 drill bit to drill holes in the weather stripping it slightly enlarges the hole 
in the metal, but not too bad. Uh, if you don't want to mess with it, then obviously don't drill into the metal. But yeah, that's what I've been using. Uh, keeping this side together for like referencing off the seals, like how much do I want that much overhang, like that one right there. See, let me show you this one up close. So I don't know why this is all overhung like that. Maybe to to do this. I really don't know what what the purpose of that is. Uh, yeah, this side stayed together a little better. But yeah, this is why kind of why I put that bottom bottom staple. You can see how that just kind of ripped off. So I'll do the same here. But. Uh, I just wanted to show y'all real quick what I'm doing for staples and uh, making progress on this. It's not a very hard job, it's time consuming, but uh, yeah, there you go. All right, I'm going to get back at it. All right, I wanted to show y'all how I'm doing these seals. Uh, I figured this strip, which is the top radiator seal, would be the easiest one. I've already did two staples. As you can tell, oh, going the wrong way. So I'm gonna kind of show y'all how I'm doing it. And uh, so you can get the idea. Kind of nice having a wood table. I just use a 116 drill bit. a staple as you can see right there I don't know if that'll there you go what I've known to help a little better with getting through the hole is to cut it diagonal that way it makes that little sharp point nice using this uh, wire because you can actually bend it a little bit to make it work these type of jobs is definitely it's not something you want to do if you're in a rush It'll just take your time and uh, so now I got it all the way through and then all I do, I've just been kind of eyeballing it, but I cut it about right there. Try to make them even. Let's see, that one's a little longer. And you kind of get the idea. Wish I had a little bit better needle nose pliers, but these have been working well. Try to get one that's really small on the end. I just kind of, kind of grab the base of it. Just kind of roll it in. Sometimes I kind of just use the needle nose to kind of seat it in there a little bit better. That way it kind of flattens out like that. Yeah, the first one I did did not look like that. So once you get your practice going, because you got a bunch of staples to make, you'll start getting the hang of it, know when to cut it, and know where to fold, and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the the uh, top seal here. And uh, I just wanted to stop, take time to show you all how I've been making the staples, as I've done all of them, from the fenders to the uh, radiator side shields to this one. So... I'm going to get back at it. I just wanted to show you all how I did it. All right, I finally got the front end all finished up with the new seals. Yeah, all the 
new seals, all the new staples that I've made. The only thing I have left to, to put a seal on is that little, there's a little cover that goes right here. There's a little seal in between it, so that's the only thing I got left to do. Yeah, I'm very pleased with everything turned out. I like those, those staples. 18 gauge aluminum wire, bends real easy. Guaranteed not to rust. With the radiator side shields. I went ahead and cleaned them up. They're pretty rusty in certain areas. I went ahead and cleaned them up a little bit and painted them. But yeah, new staple. These are a little harder just because that the seal's folded. Yeah, kind of had to fold it out of the way a bit. But uh, yeah, bottom seal, top seal. These bolts cleaned up very nice too. I just soaked them in vapor rust. And then set for 24 hours. I don't know if that's bare steel or any bit of coating left, but uh, we'll find out. So yeah, that turned out pretty nice. Go ahead and kind of clean the. Uh... I really don't know what that is, but I went ahead and cleaned it up. Already laid out the new wiring, uh, so that's pretty much in place and ready to go. I do have a dual horn system, and they only give you a connector for one, so I'm gonna have to splice into that and uh, solder in an, an extra wire for the second horn. But that's really no big deal, other than that. Front end's ready to go back on the truck. I still got to do the front harness this one here for the headlights I got that harness I just need to I guess I gotta pull the headlights I don't think I have to pull the grill but I know I have to pull the headlights because you can't access them from back here I don't think yeah you can't access them so I'll probably do that once the front ends on the truck so that turned out real nice all right I'm gonna get back at it All right, fuel system's mostly done. I got the inlet hose and filter installed. I already wired everything up, and it is wired to a 40 amp relay. I'm using a glass filter. Uh, it's something I had laying around. Plus, I like to be able to see the uh, the fuel. See how fil the, uh, dirty the filter gets and. Uh, the only thing I need to do, I need to clamp that down. I don't have a right angle drill. I'll probably get one very soon so I can probably drill a hole and then put a clamp right there so that doesn't bounce around. All right, let me show you how I wired the uh, relay. All right, I located the fuel pump relay on top of the passenger side of the frame. It's kind of far back under the firewall here. Uh, I added an extra ground strap, which is that long silver one from the uh, bell housing to the frame. And uh, of course I got new static straps from classicparts.com, the gold ones, and they'll go in the factory location. But uh, they did not have one for the uh, engine block to the chassis. So I added that one. I may even add another one to the other side. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much where the fuel pump uh, will go. Excuse me, the fuel pump relay is. It's a Vi Air 40 amp. So I'm not gonna show you how I did every single wire. It's pretty uh, it's kind of pretty it's pretty boring. So with that white wire will goes to the cab and it's the uh, key on ignition source. So uh, everything else routed pretty good. I'm not hundred percent satisfied with the wiring, but it's uh, pretty clean and out of the way and secure, so I'm satisfied with it, but uh, yeah, I think I'm going to get back at it. I didn't really want to shoot a whole lot of video of routing and wiring, but I uh, kind of wanted to show you all the final product. Maybe I'll kind of get an idea of how I did it. All right, I'm going to get back at it. All right, guys, I pretty much want to wrap it up. As you can see, the fuel system's done, and the front end's got all the seals on it, so it's ready to go back on the truck. That's my goal this weekend, is to get the front end back on the truck and uh, get the camshaft broke in. I already got the exhaust system in it. Uh, 
I was going to paint the alternator, but I think I'm just going to throw it on for now so I can uh, run the engine. Uh, yeah, carburetors bolted down, got the new uh, half inch Edelbrock spacer already on it. And uh, I'll show you all that in the next video. Vacuum line from the distributor to the carburetor. Um, peeled the tape off the intake, so that's why it's bagged right now. I don't want anything falling in the carburetor or obviously the engine. So, um, yeah, that's nothing holding me back this weekend. So, this next video coming up, you'll see me installing the front end and uh, hopefully breaking in that uh, camshaft and running the engine. Uh, doubt I'll get to drive it this weekend, but definitely break in that camshaft. I want to get that out of the way first. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get back at it. Uh, I appreciate the, all the uh, comments and likes. Um, I'm enjoying the process. I hope everybody who's watching is too. And uh, until then, thanks for watching.